Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's discuss the next topic that is metastable ions. Already we had a discussion on different five types of the ions which are present during the ionization and fragmentation process. The next one is the what? Metastable ions. We all know that the procedure in the mass spectrometry. Initially, we are having what? Sample reservoir. The sample reservoir containing our unknown sample which must be in the gaseous state, right? This is subjected to what? Electron bombardment, also called as electron impact. Thereby, what is happening? The removal of a single electron takes place from your molecule. Thereby, we can generate molecular ion. The molecular ion is further subjected to the different kinds of cleavages, commonly called as what? Fragmentation procedure. During the fragmentation procedure, we are getting positively charged species, radical cations, radicals and negatively charged species. The mass spectrometer determines or identifies only positively charged ions. That's why what happens, we will remove these radical and negatively charged ions from the ionization chamber. It means that what the formation of molecular ion and the fragment ions takes place in ionization chamber. Okay. So after the formation of the molecular ion and the fragment ions, what we are doing, the instrument which do not recognize the ions, those ions will be removed from the ionization chamber. The remaining cation and radical cation. These two will be entered into the mass analyzer. So depending upon the velocity of the cations and the radical cations, the collector can collect the cations and the radical cations one by one. And then that is subject to the amplifier. In the amplifier, we are going to observe the particular mass spectra. So this is the what entire process of the identification of the mass spectral analysis of a particular compound. Right. So in the ionization chamber, what we are observing? The formation of the molecular ion and the fragmentation process. Okay. Suppose let us assume. radical cation and the radical if these two are present here after entering into the mass analyzer if these are subjected to the further fragmentation it means that what the ions which are coming from the ionization chamber are subjected to the fragmentation in mass analyzer what will happen if these are subjected to the further cleavage? We will get different ions or not? Right? Those ions are commonly called as what? Metastable ions. So, what is the definition? Positively charged ions produced in the mass analyzer are commonly called as metastable ions. Okay? The metastable ions always produced in the mass analyzer but not ionization chamber. The ions which are produced in the ionization chamber are commonly called as normal ions. We will get the normal peaks. But if you want to identify the metastable ions, what should we do? We need to identify the phenomena where the positive ions and the radical cations these can be involved in the further fragmentation in mass analyzer, right? So, if you see the properties of the metastable ions, these are what? Different from the normal ion peaks. See this one? These are the normal peaks 92, 91, 65, 39. This 46.4 is commonly called as metastable ion. Okay, so this peak is different from the normal peaks or not. Next one is what? These peaks are diffused or broad with low intensity. These are the broader peaks, but the height is very less. See this one? The peak is broader in nature, but height is very less. That's why these are what? Diffused or broader peaks with low intensities. 
the next one is what these peaks will appear at non integer ambiguous value see this one these are the integers are not but this peak will appear at what non integer okay the last one is what energy lower than the normal ions whatever the energy these species containing that energy is always lesser than the normal ions energy so these are the properties of your metal stable ions let us take one example and try to understand how the metal stable ions are generated okay see this one this is what toluene we all know that the toluene containing what carbon carbon single bond and carbon carbon pi bond already we know that if pi bonding electrons are present we can remove electron from the pi bond so simply what happens by supplying this much amount of energy simply we have removed an electron from this particular molecule that's why we are generating what molecular ion so what is the mbiz of molecular ion that is 92 it means that what the molecular weight of the toluene is 92 okay so in the ionization chamber what is happening what is happening from this particular molecular ion initially we have removed the h radical from this ch3 right you will come up with ch2 plus see this one this is ch2 plus benzyl cation the mbiz is 91 then it is subjected to the further fragmentation here the elimination of c2h2 takes place the elimination of c2h2 produces this type of cation that is mbiz 65 again this is subjected to the removal of c2h2 you will come up with 39 it means that what 92 91 65 and 39 so four different peaks are observed why because four different ions are forming in the ionization chamber those are what 92 91 65 and 30 okay up to this clear now what happens this particular mbiz value 91 after the formation all these ions must be traveled into the mass analyzer or not assume that this benzyl cation entered into the particular mass analyzer after coming into the mass analyzer what happens this is subjected to the fragmentation this is subjected to the further cleavage see this one what is happening the elimination of c2h2 takes place thereby what is happening we are getting this kind of ion already we have seen this ion mbiz is what 65 or not when if the ion is formed in the ionization chamber but this ion is forming in what mass analyzer or not if this ion is formed in the mass analyzer the mbiz value will not be 65 if this ion is formed in the ionization chamber then only it will become 65 but in this case what is happening this ion entered into the mass analyzer after entering into the mass analyzer this is subjected to the further cleavage then we are getting this kind of ion then what will be the mass of this ion now at this situation this ion is commonly called as a metal stable ion why because this ion is formed in the mass analyzer the same ion is formed in the ionization chamber or not now this ion is commonly called as normal ion this is normal ion this one is metal stable ion why because this ion is formed in the mass analyzer so how to calculate the mbiz value of this metal stable ion for that purpose we are having a formula see this one the position of metal stable ion m star equal to m2 square by m1 M1 is the m by z of parent ion. M2 is the m by z of daughter ion. So we need to identify parent ion and daughter ion. Okay. See this one. This one is subjected to cleavage or not? This particular ion. That's why this is commonly called as 
parent ion. From this parent ion, this is appearing or not? That's why this is called as what? Daughter ion. Okay, M1 means what? M by Z of parent ion. This is M1. This one will become M2. So what is the value of M1? 91 or not? What is the value of M2? 65. So put it in this formula. 65 into 65 by 91 that is equal to 46.4. This is the peak which is appearing at 46.4. This peak is commonly called as what? Metastable ion peak. It means that what? During this particular uh, ionization process and the fragmentation process, sometimes what happens, the generation of new ions takes place in the mass analyzer. The ions which are produced in the mass analyzer are commonly called as metastable ions. Metastable ions are positively charged ions. These ions are different from the normal ions. Okay, the M by Z value of these ions can be calculated by using this formula. M star equal to M2 square by M1. M1 means M by Z of the parent ion. M2 means M by Z of the daughter ion. Then what is the use of these metastable ions? If the metastable ions are formed, then how can we use the information from the metastable ions? The importance of metastable ion see this one from the position of metastable ion peaks possible to know the nature of the parent and daughter ions whatever the position which we are getting here based on the position of the metastable ions what should we identify the nature of the parent ion and daughter ion so if you know the nature of the parent ion and daughter ion, thereby what should we know? We are going to know the nature of the molecular ion or not. So if you know the nature of the molecular ion, automatically what should we know? The nature of your sample. So metastable ions are very, very important concepts. You all need to understand in an easy and simple manner. So this is all about what the metastable ions concept.